that. We're going to move on now to Yvette Cooper. Prime Minister, I know that you do rightly care about the um, nor risks to Northern Ireland's security. You also care immensely about and know about the security risks to the country and the economic risks to the country if there is no deal. So knowing you for 20 years, I just don't believe that if your deal goes down, you are the kind of person who would contemplate taking this country into a no-deal situation. Am I wrong? The decision, it will be a decision for Parliament as to whether they accept the deal that I and the Government have negotiated on behalf of the, Euro of the United Kingdom with the European Union. I believe that's a good deal. For I understand. And I don't want to go over those previous answers. It, it, my, my issue is, I don't believe you are the kind of person who could contemplate no deal, even if you don't get this deal. I don't think you'll do it. I think you'll take action to avert it. Am I'm, I wrong in my judgment about you? I'm, uh, well, I've had a number of questions now about what happens if. What I'm saying is very simple. Uh, my focus is on the vote that okay. takes place on December the 11th. That's fine. I was asking actually because about I've whether... You, the, because oh. I've negotiated what I believe truly to be a good deal for the UK. Okay. And, and I understand all of that. On the the, I was asking you about the kind of person that I, I think you are. But let me just then go into the specifics of the deal. Uh, can you confirm we don't have access agreed to the CIS2 database or the ECRIS database in the political declaration? We don't have uh, the CIS2 database and the ECRIS database specifically identified in the, um, in the uh, political declaration. And you've pushed for those we, as well? What we, what we do have is a uh, reference to exchange of information on in wanted or missing persons sure. objects and but it's, records, but which of course are what CIS2 and ECRIS covers. But you've tried to get a specific reference. You have got reference to PRUM, you have got reference to PNR. So you've achieved some access to some specific things, but you haven't got access to those, but your security assessment assumes that you have. I mean, that is not being straight with people about the risks to security of what you've currently got in your political declaration and in your agreement. Well, the, but what the political declaration makes clear is that as part of the, the future negotiations, the nature of the access to those uh, 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 on that data exchange will be part of the future uh, negotiations, but it is with a view to delivering okay. capabilities that insofar as is technically and legally possible and considered necessary, and parties okay. consider it necessary, and in both parties' interests. But it, but it doesn't say those enables this by, But this is, this is about whether or not we have the capability or whether or not we're in a okay. specific But you're, you're still measure. channeling around this. You haven't got agreement to it, and it is a risk. You know how important it is. Let me ask you specifically about borders and customs. When he says in paragraph 23 we're going to build and improve on the single customs territory, does that mean alignment to the common external tariff? No, because it goes on as uh, what it makes absolutely clear that it's in line with the party's objectives and principles above, which includes us being an independent, uh, able to have an independent trade policy. Okay, so if we don't have alignment to the common external tariff, why did you tell Parliament on Monday that we've got an agreement to no rules of origins checks? That is within the, uh, if you look within the uh, text of the political declaration, you will see the, uh, I'm just finding It's the, paragraph 23. 23. What it says is, build and improve on the single customs territory provided for in the withdrawal agreement, which includes alignment to the common external tariff, which obviates the need for checks on rules of origin. Definitely. So you're reference to the checks for rules of origins is only in the context of the single <coughs> customs territory which includes no. the alignment to the common external tariff. No, the, the, uh, if you think back to that it is wrong to assume that the only way to obviate the needs for rules of origin checks is for the United Kingdom to be uh, uh, only able to, ex uh, to apply the common external tariff. That is not the case. What's the other what, way? Well, the government published a white paper in July that showed the uh, showed another way of uh, doing oh, so this. So you've gone back to checkers. The you've government gone back to checkers agreement. Yes. So this is the the, the max facts or the customs partnership and stuff that we know the EU has rejected. No, the the, the European <coughs> one of the key elements of the political declaration is that the European Union did start off from the position of saying that there were no arrangements <coughs> that would be available to the United Kingdom other than the what come to be in shorthand the Norway model or the Canada model, uh, and Canada only for GB. 
Uh, in fact, what they have now accepted is that there is, you know, that the United Kingdom will have a different relationship with the European Union, an unprecedented relationship with the European Union, because we will not just be any third country. And that means that we're looking for an ambition in our customs arrangement, which is set out within the political declaration, is made very yeah, You're still only on ambition. I mean, here's your, your problem is you're trying to say to some people that you're going to get a frictionless trade, you're going to be pretty close to Norway. You're trying to say to other people you're going to be pretty close to Canada and you're going to have a free and independent trade policy. Actually, you haven't got agreement to any of those, and in your head you're just resting on checkers and your uh, max facts thing that's already being rejected. So once again, you're just not being straight with people. And isn't your real problem here that because you haven't got agreement to any of this, because it is still a spectrum, as your own documents say, actually you're really saying to people, trust me, I'll sort it out in the second phase, but because you're not being straight with people on any of these things, on CIS2, on whether or not we're going to be poorer, on whether or not we're going to have rules of origins checks, actually you're not able to build up that trust? Well, uh, first of all, uh, you said that none of the what I had said was, uh, had been agreed and was in the political declaration, including the fact that we will have an independent trade policy. It is specifically referenced in the political declaration. It was important for the United Kingdom that we've got that reference into the political declaration, that the European Union accepts that we will have an independent trade policy outside of the European Union. That is a major, the, the, the assumptions around, obviously there's been a lot of talk about whether it would be better to stay in the customs union, which of course would not enable us to have that independent trade policy. And the, uh, the, the model, as you say, at one end of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the uh, uh, two, one of the two models that the European Union originally started off thinking that we would need to have, would have uh, required that. It would also not have ended free movement. But what we have, is you haven't got any of have, this pinned no, down. Yes, what we have in this political declaration is agreements on the, uh, yes, as I've been, I was clear about the fact in relation to frictionless, absolutely frictionless as opposed to as near frictionless as possible, but we've got agreement in relation to no tariffs, fees, charges or quantitative restrictions across all sectors. Um, and this is, and it, what is also clear in this, is that the next stage gives effect to this relationship. Promise, I don't think you're adding anything, I think it's Tom Tudenhat's turn.